These are members of Nzuko Umada Ehubo. Nzuko Umada Ehubo was founded 36 years ago. These women are wearing and virtuous. They are here to honor some of their members who have distinguished themselves in the society. Congratulations, Adehubo Emeritus. Please, can we put our hands together for Mama? Elder Mrs. Rebecca Nenya Ekukoibiam was a teacher. She's one of the founding members of Nzuko Umade Hubo. She has served the group as a president. She received an award as Ada Ehubo Emeritus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Ada Ehubo Emeritus. I don't know whether I deserve it. But, uh, it's given. Let me book that uh, I, develop, I deserve it. I, I, I don't feel that I've done anything so meritorious as to deserve an award from a group of people. The person I feel who should get it is our lady Benassi Iduma. Elder Rebecca Ibiam's mother gave birth to nine children. She has raised three children who are proud to call her mommy. I am proud to say that she still drives herself. She drives, still drives her car at that age. So you can see that uh, God has given her good health, given her strength, and a lot of wisdom. She's uh, the first amongst nine from the same mother, and uh, among the 26 children of their father. She has been the, one of the early members of Enzuku Mada Ehubo. And you know, for you to be honored in this kind of organization, you must have served without blemish. So it's a mother that we are very proud of. Her character borders on sincerity and honesty. And she believes in hard work. I think that she must have learned from her own mother. Her daughters-in-law dote on her. She's been a pillar, you know, she's given me all the support I ever wanted in marriage. You know, I've had it very seamless with her. We've agreed thus far, and I know we'll continue to agree. She's very symbolic in the life of her children, and that's how she impacts me, and that's how she impacts my own children, too, who are her grandchildren. All in all, I think she's just been a wonderful woman, and we pray for her to live lots longer than now. She's nice, she's okay. I just thank God for everything, and my prayer for her is for more grace to really fulfill her days on planet Earth. Her grandchildren love her very much. I have a very, very, very benevolent grandmother, yeah, that's the word, because while well, growing up, I've always known her to be someone that gives and gives cheerfully, gives very, very willingly, she doesn't, she, my grandma is not the kind of person that one will say, oh, this one, this woman doesn't, she's, she's too much of a happy person. My grandma is um, kind, my grandma love discipline someone. She does not flog because she loves flogging. She flogs because she wants you to be disciplined and in future you'll be great, greater than her. My grandma is also kind to people and loves giving more than receiving. Nzuko Umade Hugo is a prestigious women group Many came to rejoice with Elder Ibiam and other award recipients. These are exceptional women and very proactive and uh, very, very ambitious and industrious. Over the years, even during the times where women were not supposed to do anything other than do what women are supposed to do, whatever that was. But these people were academicians, teachers, and they were doing all sorts of professions very well, in fact. And uh, now that they are honoring themselves or honoring them, them, it's very appropriate that we come and celebrate with them. Nkuma Bogo cultural troupe performed to the delight of all. At 87, Elder Mrs. Rebecca Ibiam looks back and calls herself a fulfilled woman.